So far, all I know is that I'm gonna be trying influencer food and that at least one of them just broke. That's right, we've got food from 20 different influencers for Linus to eat and rate. After rating, Linus has to figure out which of these influencers actually made the food. And if he's wrong, well, we add it to the blender and he drinks it at the end. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Just don't be wrong. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna know any of this stuff. Oh. Let's start with which influencers does Linus know? Okay, so we got uh, Hank Green, Jack Septic Eye. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know. We even collabed with him. I have no idea. I have no idea who this is. Sorry, everyone. Clearly, I don't know my influencers, but what I do know is this video is brought to you by Odoo. Thanks to them, we're gonna have thoughts on everything we tried today summarized on a website that we easily built using their platform. We'll also have links to all the products there as well. All right, bring me the first one. Let's do this thing. All right, here's your first course. A burger and cereal, which makes a lot of sense. Oh, well, this is really easy. It's Keith's sauce. That's a strong resemblance. Okay, this one's obvious. We've got a Mr. Beast burger. I feel like you guys have set him up for failure here though. I am not a fan of cold burgers. I like toppings on my burgers. Wow, that's a lot of mayonnaise. I'm imagining what it was like when it was warm. Not bad. I'll give it a six. But let's see if Keith's burger sauce can change how I feel about it. To be clear, this is not my favorite kind of burger. It's not something I would order, but to their credit, the meat quality seems fine. It uses real cheese. Like if it had processed cheese on it, it would immediately be able to score no higher than a three. All right, let's give her some hot sauce. Apparently it's not too hot, so hopefully that's an okay amount of it. Guess we're about to find out. Mmm. That was delightful. Keith hot sauce, man. I don't know what to say other than this is delicious. I feel like you cheated a little bit putting maple syrup in it, hitting my Canadian bone here, but man, that's a nine for me. It's not spicy. If you like hot sauce, this is not a hot sauce. It's a flavor sauce. And this has got to be, I mean, the resemblance is striking. So I guess you're Keith. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, this is, wait, well, who the hell from Mythical is there? Well, what, is it the drawing? Oh, come on, you guys. Mythical could be in trouble here because I am an absolute cereal nut. I eat it almost every day. I will eat it for any meal and I am not into, oh, hold on a second. Puffed corn cereal with marshmallows. I can actually see the flavor on the peanut butter and honey sandwich here. I'm going with mishmash. Wait, they're all mishmash. Well, I'm going with peanut butter and honey sandwich. That is a small bag of cereal. That is like, Two servings for me. Peanut butter and honey sandwich. Kind of tastes like sugar coated dog food. <laughs> Gee, guys. There is quite literally nothing in this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a blanker nutrition facts. Mm. Hold on, it's kind of growing on me. Get one more bite. Four and a half. Here's your next course. Ooh. There's a fork involved. Or who? Oh, no way. I love cup noodles. Oh, it's gaming. These cup noodles contain caffeine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? We've got cup noodles. We've got cup rice. Master P creamy chicken gumbo on sale. Good Lord, they put two for sale labels on this. They were really trying to get rid of it. Obviously, that's Master P and this is him. Oh, that does not smell good. Slimy, yet. It's actually not that satisfying. That Wow, that is really bland. Um, man, we are nowhere near the fill line in this and it still tastes like dishwater. It's like they tried. They wanted to have a little bit of like dehydrated carrots and veggies and onion and stuff in here, but they were like, nah. Master P, you get a two for the quality of the product, but I'm gonna give you a bonus one point for making my life easy by having your picture on the front. There we go, right there. Yeah, see, look, look at this one, look at this. This got like, it's got like meat and little bits of egg or something and like little bits of shrimp or whatever, like some sauce. You need to mix that up. Maybe it'll have some actual flavor. Yeah. 
All you had to do was just get regular cup noodles without paying for the brand name one and you would have had a better experience. How's the rice? Does the rice have caffeine in it too? Oh, wow. Um, that's okay. I'd eat it. Really strong flavor, not very spicy though, which is a weird thing to say about curry. I don't really do seafood, so I'm just gonna give this a five and call it neutral. As for this one, I don't know, six. Um, it's edible, but it's kind of a weird combination of flavors. Like it's super, super flavorful, like overpowering, but it's not spicy. Like what kind of curry is that? All right, this round's something special. It's a word from our sponsor. Odoo makes it easy to build a website using drag and drop elements and intuitive features. The website we built to track our conclusions today was up and running in a matter of days and scheduling a call with one of their expert designers was both quick and painless. And if you don't wanna go that route, their AI features can help you lay out a template that you can further customize on your own. Best of all, Odoo's website e-commerce application is 100% free to use, comes with unlimited hosting, and they even pay for your domain name for the first year. Linked below, we'll have the site that we built with a collection of our thoughts, as well as where to pick up some of these products if you want to try them out for yourselves. We'll also have Odoo's site linked below if you want to see how easy it can be to build your own site, just like we did. Your next course, sir. Cookies and bars. Oh look, it's Mr. Beast, again. I didn't know they had cookies. Oh, the cookies are dead? Yeah. Oh, apparently they weren't very good. Oh yeah, these suck. What a weird cookie texture. Like it somehow manages to be both oily and dry. Yeah, those are not very good. I give these a three, sorry, Jimmy. Oh, wow, influencers make this really easy. I was like, damn, what the hell's a Mina snack? Love, Pokimane, and Darcy. Cool, right there. If you're into that kind of Oreo flavor, I could see being into these. They've got kind of a nice crunch. They've got kind of a weird aftertaste. Like I'd give these a five for the initial flavor, but like, oh man, they make their way all the way down to like a four at best. God damn, how are these one third sugar by mass and still taste like that? Time for sus snacks in the OG flavor. No reading packaging? No, oh, I like reading the packaging. Well, they look sus. I don't know what I was expecting, but it sure as heck wasn't that. It's like a Rice Krispie. It's a Rice Krispie. This has crickets in it? <laughs> Bell, <laughs> you fucking guy. Did you just feed me crickets? It's not very good. At least it's got eight grams of protein per serving, but really weird aftertaste on this one too. I don't know, four. Who the fuck is responsible for this? I have no idea. Let's say this guy. Wrong, your first mistake. Do any influencers make good products? <laughs> All right, our next round is the feastable round. We have every flavor, uh, maybe, for you to try. I've rarely met a chocolate bar that I didn't like, so if Mr. Beast manages to screw this up, then I don't know, I could be in trouble. All right, original chocolate, which apparently to Jimmy means milk chocolate. That's pretty nice. That's a decent amount of cocoa in there. Doesn't have that creamy Lind kind of melting texture though. Now D's nuts with grass fed milk. Hey, didn't he get in trouble for the D's nuts thing? Yeah, there was a company that sold nuts called D's. Yeah, buy Reese's Pieces. For the OG Feastable bars here, I've got to give them credit for the flavor. Clearly there's a higher cocoa percentage than you would get in a lot of off the shelf candy bars in the US. However, I think they have work to do on the creaminess, on the texture. It's got a little bit of that, um, that kind of advent calendar kind of plasticiness to it, but maybe they've improved it with their newer bars. So we've got these as well. Oh, that's very different. That is a completely different product. Is the milk no longer grass fed? Way better texture now though. Interesting. Gone is the organic cocoa butter. Gone is the organic chocolate liqueur. So what they tried to do was bring an upscale product to market using cane sugar, organic chocolate liqueur, uh, organic cocoa butter. And what they realized is that American consumers are Philistines and would rather just have garbage. So here we go. Sugar, whole milk powder, cocoa butter, unsweetened chocolate, natural vanilla extract. This is the genericest chocolate bar of all time. So which one was the best? 
and which one was the worst? On the rare occasion that I treat myself to a chocolate bar, I think I would prefer the originals, but realistically, I don't think I would go for either of them. Based on how badly I've seen other people screw up cookies, uh, I still gotta give them like a seven. Like they're pretty okay. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the feedback on this is gonna be like, well, Linus, let's see you do it better. But the reality of it is I don't wanna. I don't wanna try and make a better chocolate bar than companies that have been doing it for a hundred years. All right, next round, we're back to some Ooh, treats. All right. Now, I know you're gonna like this round because it's sour candies. I love sour candy. Oh, this one's from Carl. He looks like if One Direction was gaming. All right, Carl, let's do this thing. How much is this Carl thing? Six bucks Canadian. Six dollars, that's 60 cents per gummy. And what, do they have like uh, caffeine or something or what? Probably not. Oh, color from spirulina, comes from nature. That's actually on there. Not my favorite sour gummy, maybe a six out of 10, but I love the packaging. This is adorable. Glucose, it sweetens and softens. Water, it's just water, lol. Ryan Trahan. Wow, this is like, it's got like some wallop to it. Sour pink lemonade strips, naturally flavored with natural sour. Oh, wow, they uh. <laughs> No, 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 they, they come apart, they come apart, they come apart. Okay, pink lemonade. Well, I believe it has 80% less sugar in it. God, why is it trendy to make candy that kind of doesn't taste very good? Isn't that the point of candy? I don't know, five out of 10? Ooh, that aftertaste though. Oh yeah, what does Ryan Trahan look like? Mm, got, top left, Ryan Trahan, got him. You are correct. Thank you for putting a picture on your packaging. I promise you guys, if I ever do candy, it'll be awful for you. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Okay, one up. So this is the sour one up sour challenge. You need to put all three in your mouth and suck for 30 seconds without making a face, then chew and swallow them. I grew up on Screaming Blue Saucers. I heard they give you cancer. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently you need a neutralizer, an anti-sour candy drink powder, download cash app, what the f yeah, if you don't make a face for 30 seconds and chew and swallow it, you get cash app, whatever. It probably is not a thing anymore. Okay, this has got to be bottom left guy. No. Oh, damn it. Jacksepticeye? No. Damn it! Let's just try the challenge. Ew, they're like fused to the packaging. Ready, set, go. Are you chewing? Because you're not supposed to chew. This is unheard of. Save some for this uh, blending concoction. 30 seconds. And then chew and swallow. Please, come on. <laughs> I've had warheads that are sour than that. This is a tough one, how much are these? There were six gummies in there. So now hold on a second. That is $3 per gummy? Are you kidding me? This is a one. I like them. If they were cheap, like, I'd eat them. Like how, how many videos are there of people like eating these and be like, ah, it's so sour and then tears streaming down their eyes. See, that's why people don't trust influencers because it's overdone. This right here, short circuit. This is where you can get the real goods. This is not that sour. Well, maybe this will make your mouth water. Oh. Gamer water. Oh, Prime is back. What does sweet otter cake batter blend taste like? Oh, it's so splashy. <laughs> A hundred US dollars for the cup. Why? By far the winner is Keith's burger sauce. This is delicious. I want to take this home and I want to put it on my food. My spaghetti, my burgers. I would put this on basically anything. I would drink this burger sauce. That is really good. Um, the biggest loser? I don't even remember everything. Wait, no, I lied. The biggest loser is me for having to drink this. I'm only taking one sip. That is f***ing disgusting. One glug. One sip. One glug only. Oh, how about this? I will match whatever you drink. Oh, deal. Uh-oh. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Now it is. Oh. I think it needs more. That is, that is <laughs> No, if it, ain't, if it ain't chunky, it ain't. Uh, right, let me grab a glass. Whatever this is. Well, I'm obviously taking no, this no, glass. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> did, yeah. did the milk from the cereal end up in here? No, it <laughs> is milky for unknown reasons. Sure. Oh my God, it's still warm. <laughs> Listen, I don't gotta, want to do this on my own. Why you gotta smile at me like that? It's weird. Should we link arms like together? Like I mean, yeah, I think we kind of have no, to. No, you go like point. you've never done that marriage. Mm. He's very warm. He's very warm. Oh god, that is extremely unpleasant. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> you gotta chew it. <laughs> hey, you didn't finish your glass. The war. <laughs> I do all my own stunts. Thanks, Odoo, for sponsoring this video. And thanks to all my friends in the influencer community for, uh, um, I don't know, these products. Ooh, crickets. We'll have some extras on Floatplane, by the way. LMG.gg slash Floatplane. Oh, my eyes are watering. That is truly awful.